Since the 1970s, a separatist rebellion has racked the Philippines' Mindanao Island. About 100,000 people were displaced by fighting in 2008, including the families of Dado Village. The UN Refugee Agency consulted with the village to identify their needs. The agency provided fishing boats, nets, a landing site, and sewing machines. However, one problem remained. To send their goods to market, Dado residents had to pass through two villages, where fighting had flared again. There was only one road, and it was closed. The women of Dado quietly organized a clever solution to bring peace. They called a sex strike. Asna Kandatu's husband, Lings Kupong, was a key leader. He told the two villages that continued fighting would damage the economy, and perhaps more importantly, his marriage. <laughs> Hasna Kandatu admits the plot was conceived at the Women's Sewing Cooperative. And Ainan Kamanza said many of the women used their powers of seduction. <laughs> no, uh, Ma, if you, uh, I tell them that if you don't uh, agree with my... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you cannot, you have no salary from me. <laughs> it worked. Within a week, the women brought peace to the nearby villages. The road to the market reopened, enabling Dado village to continue rebuilding. The villagers still need more help. They share just 16 boats among 102 families. However, they say they feel a renewed sense of empowerment. Now they can earn a living instead of receiving food aid. Hasna and her husband Lengs are looking to a brighter future too. Kung sa akin, gusto ko pa dalawa. Sa akin? Gusto niya isa. Hindi, gusto ko. Kung magkapera ako, marami akong matulungan. Na mga, ano, mga binakakayang maka, ano, da, uh, Dado Village, like many communities on Mindanao, struggles to rebuild. And if the women continue to prevail, then peace may bring prosperity.